Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I rise today to urge support for my bill to hold the Iranian regime accountable for its continued human rights violations. I introduce the Iran Human Rights and Hostage Taking Accountability Act with Congressman Deutsch. And I'm grateful for Chairman Royce and Ranking Member Engel's support uh, in this effort. The Iranian regime continues to perpetrate gross human rights abuses against its own people. They continue to suppress and censor their people's calls for democratic reform. They re recklessly use their nation's resources to expand their destabilizing influence and support of terrorism. And they continue to engage in corrupt practices. And they continue to illegally detain and imprison our citizens without just cause. This is simply unacceptable. Mr. Speaker, this bill serves as a clear signal to the people of Iran that we support their quest for freedom. It shines a light on their regime's human rights violations and targets Iranian officials guilty of corruption, censorship, and the diversion of goods intended for the Iranian people. It requires the president to work with our international partners to develop a strategy to end this inhumane behavior and sanctions those officials complicit in those crimes. And finally, it sanctions these, those individuals who take Americans hostage. Mr. Speaker, today there are more than six American citizens and permanent U.S. residents held by the Iranian regime in a shameful attempt to use innocent human lives as political bargaining chips. These hostages include Bob Levinson, Congressman Deutsch's constituent, who has been missing since 2007 and remains America's longest held hostage. Siamak Namazi and his 81-year-old father, Bakr, held since 2015 and 16, respectively. PhD student, Wei Wong, held since 2016. An internet freedom activist, Nizar Zaka, held since 2016 and others. The United States has a moral responsibility to devote resources to these hostages and make their return a priority. I sent a letter with Congressman Liu and 40, uh, 60, uh, 46 other members of Congress requesting that the administration keep Congress informed as to what steps they are taking to guarantee this happens. So again, I want to thank uh, the chairman, ranking member, Congressman Deutsch, for their leadership in this bipartisan effort to hold Iran accountable. And with that, I yield back the balance of my time.